I really did. So be careful. This is actually very important. Okay, another thing is being in the spotlight. A lot of times people, you know, start recording videos and Facebook and this and that, and they become, and people start saying, um, Sheikh, how are you? By the way, I'm not a Sheikh. <laughs> and you know, people are like, and then you're like, you hear it 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, and all of a sudden like, hey, maybe I'm a, I am a Sheikh, you know? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, it must be true, everyone says it, you know? And then you start, you know, okay, first you're like, I'm not going to answer fiqh questions, you know? And then people keep asking you, oh, Sheikh, you know, we have a question. Well, you know, what's the fiqh of, you know, this or that? And like, no, no. And then all of a sudden, like, you're like, no, maybe, you know, no, no one's answering. I should answer, you know? And then you start answering from your own. And then, like, people are like, Sheikh, Sheikh, and it's, you know, blowing. And you're like, you're misguiding people sometimes, subhanAllah. Really? And this is very, you know, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Everyone's got a voice today. Anyone can get up at any of these social media things and say something, you know? Sheikh this, Sheikh that, you know, Ukhti uh, Sheikha, I mean, it's, it's full of, you know, like, Sheikh Google, right? And it's like, so, we, yes, I'm not saying, we can do that on these things, but be careful. What I'm trying to say in the end is be careful of the heart. Check your intention every time before you pl click that post button, before you are making a video or whatever it is. Make sure that your intention is sincere. And the other things, let me, I know there's not too much time. Appearances versus internal realities. This is something different, right? Very, very important. People can appear like, mashallah, you know? And people come and they say, mashallah, brother, you know, because you're a new Muslim, you must be so good. And inside of you, like, man, <laughs> like this guy doesn't know what I'm talking about. And one of the scholars said, uh, one of the teachers said the beautiful thing. He said that, look, People, when people come to him and they say, MashaAllah, Shaykh, you're so good. He, I, he said, I laugh at their face. Because if I deceive them so easily, imagine how easy Shaytan deceives them. Right? If I, with my image, deceive them that they think I'm so pious, imagine how easy Shaytan can deceive them. So we've got to be careful with appearances versus what's really inside. Of course, the two have to meet somewhere. That yes, you, and you should look pious and this and that, but the inside has to match that. It's impossible that the two have to, it will be different. At least if something is wrong inside, yani, you need to be aware of it and fight it. Because of course, no one's good. No one can sit here and say that, <laughs> you know, come to me, I'll give you some barakah, you know, from my piety, you know. It's not like that. It's not like that. This doesn't exist. And we all have evil inside of us and sins, lots of sins. So let our sins humble us, actually. Let our sins Humble us. Remember your sins. Remember your sins. Let it humble you. And, of course, very important thing, cultural Islam versus Islamic culture. This is two different things. People become accustomed to Islam. Mashallah, in a country like this, Adan, Masjids, people, you become, Islam becomes just like a thing. And this is, becomes Islamic culture, like a, a culture Islam. Islamic culture is different. You can have Islamic culture. You can th have things that are taken from Islam. As long as your culture, the Urf, doesn't go against Islam. Islam has nothing against culture. Islam upholds culture. But this is Islamic culture. Culture that matches and agrees with Islam. Culture that is taken from Islam. And there are some cultures, with all due respect, that just don't, do not match Islam. Islam and these cultures cannot have anything in common almost. And there are a lot of these kind of cultures. And we need to be careful that yes, sometimes we might need to change some things in our cultural practices so that we don't contradict Islam. We need to be aware of that. We need to know that we are not American Muslims. We are not Canadian Muslims. We are not Indian or Emirati or Pakistani Muslims. We are Muslim American. We are Muslim Pakistani, Muslim Emirati. We are Muslim first. This is our identity. We are Muslims. We say, La ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah. Not La ilaha Muhammad Rasulullah. Ana min al Hindu, Pakistan, wal. La. No. We say, We are Muslims first. This is Islam. And we shouldn't allow these differences because it's the beauty that Allah has made us tribes and nations لتعرفوا, that we know each other 
The closest to Allah in Akramakum in Dallahi at Kakum. It is the one in Taqwa. So let's not look down on each other like hey this guy, you know, this guy this, this guy from here, this guy there, look at this guy, this nation, that no, we have to be careful with that. This is also a trick from Shaitan. And very important I'm I'm going fast by the points, I'm sorry I'll take just about ten minutes. The submission, Islam calls for submission. And we need to take that versus the trends and ideologies that are going on there. Following the Sunnah in a difficult time, it's not easy to follow the Sunnah today. We need to make sure that we follow submission. Today, a lot of people are calling to Islam, but from different ideologies, from different philosophies. And we, a lot, it might be that people are trotting that path, are trotting that path, and then they find something that doesn't agree with what they've conditioned themselves to believe about Islam. And then they fall out because they say, oh, I thought that it's supposed to be like this. How did you think that it's supposed to be like that? Oh, but I thought, I think you think, he thinks, she thinks, everyone thinks. But what does Islam say? This is why, as I said before, no one likes to get up at four in the morning to go pray Fajr. It's a fight, it's a struggle till you find the sweetness. There might be a point where you actually enjoy it. But you submit. People will say you're crazy that you starve yourself for one month in Ramadan. We've heard that so many times. You gotta fast for one month. You're crazy. Right? But we submit. It's not easy. It's hard, man. It's tough. It's hot. You're hungry. But you do it. You submit. Right? But we need to understand that we submit. First and foremost, things should be because Allah said so. Yes, we can find many hikmas behind things. People are asked many times, why you guys don't eat pork? And people will be like, well, you know, pork, man, the meat got some worms and mm -hmm, and like, you know, all these things, right? And, around that. and then the person will be like, yeah, but that was in the past. Today we have this technology and that technology. It clears the meat up and it's fresher than a cooked lamb. And he'll be like, ah. Oh. So what are you going to tell him, you know? He can give you all the scientific and the, he'll give you like the, you know, the chain or like you know, put a nice board with like showing you the transformation, how it's got, you know, processed and all that. And you're like, oh. Uh. And he'll be like, so what do you have to say? No, it's not because of that. Yes, there's many hikmas and benefits for it. You know, but it's Allah has told us that we don't eat it. We don't eat it. Allah told us, Dhuhr, four rakat, Fajr two, Maghrib three. Why Maghrib three? Not four or two. Why well, it's odd, not even? I mean, Allah said so. You can be like, well, you know, when you do this and that, and this movement or that movement, three, four, five numbers, people start getting to things that it doesn't. Allah said so. Yes, there's many. I'm not saying there's no hikmah. There's actually hikmah for most things. There's reason for most things. But that's not our starting point. Our starting point is, because we know this is the truth, and Allah says, Allah knows, so we submit. We submit to Allah. Yani, we need to be careful. Type and of course, a very interesting advice that I can give you, and I need to give this advice to myself first. But a lot of times we're confused. We don't know this or that. This understanding that we need to take the hadith of the Prophet. And he said that, yani al halal al halal bayin, wal haram bayin, wa bainahuma yani mutashabihat. That Halal is clear and haram is clear and between them there is mutashabiha. There is things that can be maybe, maybe not, yes, no. It's not clear. That a lot of people, they don't know it, these things. And he says, Prophet Sallallahu says that between these two there is something that people don't know. It's, it can be, doubt, it's doubtful, right? But he who avoids these doubtful and biggest matters clears himself in regards to his religion and his honor. And he who falls into ambiguous matters eventually falls into that which is haram, like the shepherd who pastures around sanctuary but grazes in this place. So, halal is clear. Haram is clear. Between there can be mutashabi. Can be maybe, maybe not. So, the Prophet advised people stay. And this is advice for myself, Annie, because this is one very hard. 
Because whenever we hear that, okay, maybe this, maybe that, it can be halal or it can be haram, right? There's sometimes opinions like that. The one says haram, one says halal. Stay away. It's better to stay away. Just stay away. There's other things we can do. There's many other things. This is, it will save you, your honor, and your deen. This is my advice to myself first because this is something that is very hard. Because whenever we hear an opinion that matches with what we like, we would like to follow that opinion. True or not? So this is something important. Taib. I want to end up with a few things. Be careful, and I give you to you right now. Be careful, number one, as new Muslims. Muslims are, be careful of missionaries the world is now full of people calling to things that are not true we have missionaries in many places and they're coming infiltrating our families our the Muslims and calling them to other than Allah make sure you are careful of this they have missionaries have entered Saudi Arabia have entered our country have entered every country with a goal with a mission to take people away from the light of Islam, to challenge and ruin the image of Muhammad Sallallahu of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and we have to be careful. This is we need to be aware of this. We need to know. We need to stick to the basics of Islam. If we meet these kind of people, that we call them, and we show them that La ilaha illallah. No one can go against La ilaha illallah. No one can defeat La ilaha illallah in an argument, in anything. But this, that, no, La ilaha illallah. Argue with that. Well, but uh, Jesus and uh, this happened and that and this priest or La ilaha illallah. No one can beat, there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. No one. Period. Stick to your basics. The other thing is create a state of mind that ask questions but doesn't question what's the difference between asking questions and questioning there's a big difference asking question is seeking knowledge questioning is actually you have a wrong intention because you might not agree with something and you're like why this why that you start going around you know around flip and flop no make sure the intention in your heart you should we should ask questions we should know but ask questions, don't question. There's a difference. People are trying to build critical thinking. There is a difference between critical thinking and rational thinking. Critical thinking, you start from the mode of criticizing everything. Rational thinking, you look at the proofs. Because people might give you proof, and the critical thinker will be like, he will criticize your proof even, even though if it's 100%. Be like, well, well, but I don't agree with this because my mom and my dad, they did that and they, everything is criticized. This is not a rational and healthy mentality. There's a different Rational thinking is based on rational calculated proofs and understanding. And the difference in the end, just like the, is the intention. How is your heart? Why are you getting involved in this? Is it to know more or is it to argue and to prove someone wrong. This is very important. And the last thing, brothers and sisters, is Alhamdulillah, Allah is guided to Islam. Alhamdulillah. We need to be careful. Because, I mean, who, who has it guaranteed? The Prophet used to say, Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Oh Allah, the one who flips the hearts. Keep my heart steady in your deen. He used to pray this. And he's praying as Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How about us? We need to pray to Allah to keep our hearts steady on the deen. We need to pray to Allah because we don't want to. This is the most beautiful thing we have in our life. There is no purpose to life without Islam, man. Islam is our purpose in life. Al-Ma'natul Wujud, the meaning of, of, of creation is Islam. Submission to the Creator, love for the Creator, mercy from the Creator, dedication and your life to the Creator. So we need to think about this. We need to be careful because we don't know. There's no guarantee. 
So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the straight path, to protect us. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala